All right guys, so I just finished crying and um, I'm pulling my life together and everything. All right guys, good evening. It is just 0.30, which is 12.30 a.m. Yeah, we've just like finished the evening with chilling out and hanging out with all our best, like my best friends. Just finishing the evening with those four guys right there. So I really personally like have to say I'm gonna miss her so much, even though she's like crazy at times and she's annoying at times. But I still love her so much for that and um, so this is her last evening and tomorrow she'll depart at 6 but I'm gonna drop her off at the airport at 4 p.m. like 6 p.m. and then I'm gonna drop her off at 4 p.m. obviously and you know whatever she does in her life she can say I've been through those like big cities and learn about history of Germany and all that stuff which I'm glad she did but next to history and all that touristy stuff which is like kind of boring you know it's not boring, but like for some people it is, obviously. Um, but we've had a lot of fun and, you know. So yeah, we've had a, an absolutely fun night tonight and I'm so sad for her to leave. But it's like, not a bye bye, it's a see you later, you know, because I'm going to be in Arizona next year. So if you guys want to meet up with Sydney and I next year, just hit her up. So yeah, this is pretty much everything we'll have to say. I'm gonna to talk to you tomorrow at the airport and this will be the last time that I'm gonna vlog for Sine this year. So this is like kind of an emotional thing and um, then we'll talk to you tomorrow at the airport when we leave Sydney. Have a good night. All right guys, so we made it to the airport. Um, I've only cried twice so far. I cried because he gave me this cute, cute, cute um, picture book, which is actually in my bigger carry-on, so I'm not gonna like open it and show you guys. He was like, oh, Sydney, I have a present for you. I opened it, I cried my ass off, and then <laughs> we finally made it over here, so that's good. I haven't brushed my hair today. <laughs> Pretty ratchet, but I don't really care because I'm just traveling today. Now this is like our final like 30 minutes together. He's gonna like walk me as, yeah, as close as he can, like to security check basically. And then that'll be that. Pretty sad, but you know, it's not goodbye. It's see you later. We had an amazing time together, and like that's what I have to remember. I'm just kidding. Say that. Why are you saying that? I'm just kidding. Don't touch my hairy legs. <laughs> oh, just take your razor. Uh huh. Good. I'm proud of myself. They are probably all like, what the fuck are these kids doing on the ground, filming themselves? I know, but everyone else is on the ground, so I don't feel that. So... Well, they're not filming themselves. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just finished crying, and um, I'm pulling my life together and everything, but this is like our last final goodbye. Literally, I'm so sad. It's, it's like so depressing, because now we have like another 12 months apart, and then we'll be back together again, but... Yeah, so um... Niels is signing out. No more vlogs from him anymore, but you guys will still see my face. <laughs> Bye guys, see you in a year. <laughs> Alright guys, so I made it to Copenhagen. Um, honestly, I was like such a wreck after leaving Niels. Like I was crying through security, like all this stuff. But I made it here safe and sound. I'm super hungry though. So there's probably like going to be a long line to get food. So we'll see. I'm going to probably get something to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. Um, I still have to get my baggage too. And it's already like eight o'clock here. So uh, yeah, your girl is gonna, she's gonna do like something to eat. Catch the train, head to Sweden, you know the drill. And uh, yeah. Bye. Cause it looks so Bye. Bye. Alright guys, so I made it onto the plane. I'm sitting aisle seat as usual, but it was so funny because when I was getting ready to like go into the area that you sit and everything, I went into the wrong one and then they're like, oh Sydney, like you're not supposed to be over here. So then I made it to the right gate and then got into everything. Yeah, no, but this flight is not yeah, nine, right? Yeah, it's like nine hours. Um then after that I have another five I have a five hour flight after that. And then I'll be home. I got through security, I got through my other flight. Now I'm sitting here waiting to get to Phoenix and I'm so tired. I have not slept 
in over 24 hours because I didn't sleep on my last flight, flight because I was editing because I know that once I get back to like Phoenix, I keep wanting to stay in the States, but like I'm now I'm in the States. Once I get back to Phoenix though, I know that I'm gonna be like working a lot more. Um, I have a lot of collaborations planned and like I have to go to the gym as I'm eating french fries right now. This is like my last cheat before I get back to like my normal ways because I've been eating so shitty for the past four months while traveling that like I don't know how I'm gonna get back on track like I can't wait to meal prep though and everything like I almost got something at Starbucks that like wasn't good but then I ended up getting green tea because I felt too guilty but then I went to McDonald's so it like totally defeats the purpose but it was really honestly this airport like I have to tell you right now TSA here is a fucking bitch like the guy, I was being so nice to him. I was trying to not put my dirty shoes on his like conveyor belt and he just, he's like, just put the fucking shoes there. Well, he didn't say put the fucking, he was like, put the goddamn shoes there. And I was like, oh, okay. And like the guy in front of me was like, he looked at me like he felt so sorry for me. And then he told me after, he was like, I don't know why that guy was being so mean to you. Cause I was trying to be nice. Like I was gonna put it in one of those containers. He was being so mean. And then the rest of the people were being nice, but like, if you don't like your job, like, go find one that you like. I don't know. Like, you guys know this. I used to be a nanny. I hated my job. I cried about it. And then I found a new job, and it made my life a lot better. But, like, if you don't like your job, change change it. If you don't like something going on in your life, change it. But, anyways, I have, like, 20 minutes till we start boarding. And I'm sitting on the floor in the airport, which is probably really dirty. And I'm just really excited to just see Toasty, see my mom, see my friends. I don't think I'm seeing my friends tonight because I get in at like 10 something. But eventually I will be seeing them and I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna keep eating my McDonald's in peace and um, pulling my life together one step at a time. All right guys, so I made it on the plane and I am sitting in a window seat. I have not sat in a window seat since I was like 12. So this is like major throwback for me, but this is my last flight for today. So I'm super excited, super happy. I just can't wait to like get home, cuddle with my dog and like just, just, just be in my own bed. I haven't been in my own bed in so long. I'm just so excited. My family made me this cute little poster. My little sister did. My whole fam's here. Toasty's here. They even brought my dog. Like, do you know how cute that is? Guys, so I pulled up to my house. I didn't vlog this because it was like, you know, spur of the moment. And Vic and <laughs> And there's my mom. <laughs> I don't know how. No, she can handle it. She's a strong, independent woman. <laughs> So anyways, Cammy and Vit surprised me at my house and they have the cutest little shine. Like look at this. Oh, look at Another sign says, Welcome to Sunshine. <laughs> so cute. You guys are so cute. Okay, anyways, she and she's moving tomorrow and I'm going to cry. But I'm going to go visit her. Alright guys, so I'm sitting in my room and I'm just going to cry. I'm going to cry. But I'm going to go visit her. Alright guys, that is the end of this vlog. I started doing shorter amount of days because I started getting better at vlogging. Um, I hope that you guys are enjoying this. Don't forget to follow me on my socials so that you can see everything that happens throughout the day because I post on my Snapchat every day and I post like every like little thing where sometimes I forget to vlog it. Um, but yeah, screenshot my Snap code, follow me on Instagram, and share the love. Love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!